All right, you truth seekers out there, this is Roderick Martin, your UFO investigator with MUFON. And once again, the Pentagon has now slapped us with something new. And it's all about a new report, or it's not so much of a new report, but some information on an old report that's surfacing now. The Pentagon says that people who have had UFO encounters are now experiencing radiation burns, they're experiencing severe brain damage, and as well as time loss. And there's a fourth thing that's happening that's surfacing. I'm gonna share with you later on this video. You wanna stick around for this one. Just might wake you up a little bit. So it brings a question that I have for you. After hearing a report that a UFO encounter is causing people brain damage and causing people to have radiation burns as well as loss of time and all of these things, do you really wanna meet an uh, extraterrestrial today? If a spacecraft landed right now would you greet these ETs just like our previous presidents and all of have, or would you turn and run because now you're hearing what's happening? Now, for me, it makes me a little kind of skeptical a little bit because, again, I don't want any brain damage. I don't want any of those things. I don't know if the report is legitimate or not, but at the end of the day, you know, I don't want th those things to happen to me. So, I don't know. I'm a UFO investigator and I couldn't wait to meet an ET. Now I'm like, mm, I, I don't know. But at the end of the day, is it true? Or, or is this real information? So I want to roll into my quote that I use here all the time is that your eyes are useless when your mind is blind. So we got to start thinking why. Why are we getting reports like this today? Why? It's been around quite some time. But why are they now starting to leak some of these information or we're finding this? And most importantly saying, hey, you know, if you meet an ET, you're gonna get burnt and all these things. I think personally, maybe we're about to. Maybe they want people to have a little fear. Maybe there is gonna be some encounter that people will have and they want people to go the other way. I don't know, but at the end of the day, it does make me think why. So if you have any kind of answers to that yourself or what you think, why all of a sudden they wanna start releasing a fear-based report. And of course, there are some more things I'm gonna share with you here in just a moment that was in the same report, but those are the main things. And that fourth thing is that they're talking about people their women are reporting being pregnant they they have reported in these reports that pregnancy has been happening so does that mean now that we have hybrids for sure walking around i know we speculate that so are they now saying there are people walking among us that are part et part humans i mean good wow you know so here's a, a top copy of the report that i'm i'm speaking of okay and it's called the anomalous acute and subcute field effects on human biological tissues. This was part of the report of Trover documents that was coming from the former defunct ATIP program, which was the Advanced Area Threat uh, Identification Program, which was ran by Lou Elizondo. Now, again, these are reports that are coming out. Now, there was a lot of classified documents in there, so they're not gonna release all of that information, but there are definitely uh, talking about a few things. And so let me share with you what we're talking about here when it comes down to this. Now, in this report, there was some studies done, which one part of it, it makes me excited because uh, it was compiled in 1996 by the Mutual UFO Network, which is why I'm a part of, I'm a UFO investigator from MUFON. And it covers the time from 1873 to 1994. Among the effects, was apparent abductions, and there was 129 of those. There was electromagnetic effects on vehicles. There was 77 reports of that. And there was people that did perceive time loss or loss of time. There were 75 reports there, and there was over 41 burns. And there was electrical shock, uh, which was 23 of those. Uh, so there was force field impacts. There was over 18 of those. There was five sexual encounters that was part of this program. Now, again, do we have hybrids walking around us now? Are they admitting that? So let me just give you my final thoughts of this with why the big secret. And again, it's those big secret keepers have found a way now that they're starting to release information to us, uh, to the public. And 
I think it I, I think it's kind of warrant for us to really pay close attention, especially when you get reports like this that can be a little scary. OK. And, you know, when they're talking about things happening, because, again, we are to assume that the extraterrestrials come in peace. They are here to help humanity. But when you look at reports like this, it's almost saying there's a whole different ball game. It makes me wonder. It makes me think about, again, why would they put this information out? OK. Again, I tell you, we know what the what is. They, they telling us what has happened and they're telling us what has been going on and how it's been happening. But nobody's saying why that they're now releasing this information right now. So if you have a clue, go ahead and post your comments in the video. Share it so we can get more people to start uh, to begin this process because it's all about the why. And this is why we're here at Why the Big Secret. I'm Roderick Martin. I want to thank you for your time. If you found any value from this video, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, post your comments. Like it. Uh, and everything else and I really appreciate it and I will have another video for you every day.